In the previous video, I showed you how to format a synced transcript in Microsoft Word before importing it into Envivo 11. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import and sync the transcript with your video or audio file in Envivo 11. Let's get started. I have already created and opened a project in Envivo. The first thing I need to do is import the video that I want to sync to the transcript. To do that, I go to data, I click on videos, and I select the video that I want to import. Here's the video that I want to import it to Envivo. And then I click open. I click OK. And Envivo is importing the video into the internals folder. Now for the description, I'm just going to copy the name and paste that to the description. And I click OK. Now if I go to my sources, I go to internals. Here's the video that I have imported into Envivo. To keep me organized, I'm going to move it into the interview video folder in the internals folder. Just drag and drop and there it is. Okay, so now we have imported the video. What we need to do next is to import the transcript. To do that, I'm going to open the video by double clicking on it. And let's create some real estate so that we have more room to work with. So I'm going to minimize the source panel and then create a little bit of more space here. Make my video a little smaller. All right, we have enough space to work with the transcript in here. So the first thing that you need to do to import the transcript is to click on edit. Then click on transcript rows. Now we want to browse to the transcript that we want to import. And this is the transcript that we created in the previous video. We're going to open it. Now, you have an option of how you want to create each transcript row. And we created a table for the transcript, so we're going to import the table rows. Once you select table row, you see a data preview of the transcript. So we need to tell and before what each column represents in our transcript. So the first thing we do is uncheck the file includes identifier column. We are going to set that manually. And we have it includes a header row. Okay. And so here it is. And then we go down at the bottom. So the timestamp is going to be a timestamp, the identifier is the identifier, and the content is the content. Okay, now the identifier automatically it fills down. If you remember in the previous video, we did not fill in the identifiers for each row, some rows were left empty. So, Envivo is intelligent enough to fill in those rows for us. So check on that box and click OK. And our transcript has been imported. So here is the imported transcript. You can create a little more space for the content by reducing the identifier column to sync it to the video, all you need to do is click on synchronize. As you can see, as I am moving down the transcript, I'm scrolling down. You can see the header where marks where I'm in the, in the video is moving in sync. The same applies to the video. If I move back forward or backwards, you can see down here the, the transcript is moving in sync so that's how you import a synchronized transcript into envivo and sync it to your video or audio file in the next video i'll show you how to output the synced transcript in envivo 11. see you then